Hi, I'm Ben Cummings, creator and founder of blogwithbin.com, and in this tutorial, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to set up your very own self-hosted WordPress blog. I'll walk you through each and every step in the process so that your digital platform is built safely and securely. This video will cover how to get started with web hosting, how to set up a domain name, and how to install WordPress so that you can have a digital platform that's powerful and professional. Before we get started, be sure to grab your free copy of the Blog Starter Kit. Inside, I show you step-by-step -step how to build, grow, and monetize your blog, and I also show you how to set up your blog as a business. With that being said, I'm glad you're here, and I can't wait to see what you create. Let's get started. All right, now in this tutorial, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to set up your very own self-hosted WordPress blog using Bluehost web hosting. Now I personally use both of these services for the majority of my projects, but just know that after this tutorial, you're going to have an extremely powerful digital platform that will allow you to scale and monetize your blog very quickly. Now, this tutorial will be taking you through my Bluehost affiliate link, and all that means is that if you decide to make a purchase, I'll earn a small commission, but by doing so, you're helping me keep this blog up and running, and you're helping me provide for my family. So for that, I truly thank you. Plus, this link is an exclusive offer for WordPress users. Bluehost has partnered with WordPress, and as you'll see in a few moments, this exclusive offer is packed with some great features for WordPress users. It really is a great partnership that they've developed. Now, one final note, this offer comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so rest assured that you can get a full refund if you need to. With that being said, let's get started. So in order to take advantage of Bluehost's exclusive offer for WordPress users, simply go to my site, blogwithbin.com, and at the top of the screen, click on the Resources tab. And this will take you to my Resources page. And as you can see, I list all the tools and the resources that I use on a daily basis that have helped me find success online. But whenever you have some time, I, I really encourage you to take a closer look at everything on this page. But for this tutorial, we're going to be setting up your web hosting account. So to get started, simply click on the Try Bluehost button. And as you can see, this is a special offer for WordPress users. So in order to get started, we're just going to click on the green Get Started Now button. And that's going to take us to the Select Your Plan page. Now, as you can see, you have three separate options here, the Starter Plus and the Business Pro. Again, this is all personal preference. It just depends on how you're running your blog or your online business. Now, for this tutorial, we're going to be using the Starter Plan, which allows us to host one domain. And I should also mention that Bluehost gives us this domain for free, which is pretty cool. But if you plan on having multiple domains and websites, then I highly recommend going with the Plus package. This allows allows you to host unlimited websites. But for this tutorial, we're going to be using the starter plan. So once you've decided on what plan you're going to use, go ahead and click the green select button. And that will take us to the sign up now page where as you can see, you have a couple of different options. On the left hand side of the screen is where you're going to sign up if you don't have a domain name. And on the right hand side of the screen is where you'll sign up if you do have an existing domain. Now I should mention that if you're signing up with an existing domain, there are a couple of extra steps in order to transfer that domain over, but it is very, very easy to do. However, for this tutorial, we're going to be signing up with our brand new free domain name. So on the left hand side of the screen under the new domain, just type in your desired domain name and click the blue next button. And this will bring you to the account information page. And this is pretty self-explanatory, but this is where you'll enter in your account, package, and credit card information. I'm going to blur it out while I enter in my personal information, but I wanted to take a second to reiterate why Bluehost is so helpful to the WordPress community and their users. For starters, Bluehost has a 24-7 WordPress support, so if you ever need any additional help or have any questions, they are there for you. They also have a one-click WordPress installation feature, which we're going to go over in a couple minutes, but this makes getting your blog up and running a cinch. Uh, they also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked, so if for any reason you're unsatisfied, satisfied with the service, you can get your money back. And finally, Bluehost is actually recommended by WordPress. Uh, Bluehost and WordPress have worked closely since 2005 to create a hosting platform that's ideal for running WordPress websites. So you honestly cannot go wrong. 
Now the next thing you're going to do is select your package information and as you can see from the drop down menu you have a couple of different options here. One thing to keep in mind about the pricing is that the longer the subscription the lower the monthly price. So if you opt to purchase the 36 month plan your monthly rate will be cheaper than the 12 month plan. But for this tutorial we're going to be going with the starter 12 month plan which is only $5.95 per month. Once you've selected your plan, you have the option of adding some additional features to that plan. These are 100% optional, but I highly recommend that you at least select the domain privacy protection add-on. Reason being, anytime you purchase a domain, your personal information is viewable on the who is directory, meaning anyone can find your personal information. However, with the domain privacy protection add-on, that will keep your personal information safe and secure, and it will make it undetectable. So it's totally worth the 99 cents per month, in my opinion. Next, you're gonna select your payment option and enter your billing information. You can either pay by credit card or PayPal, which is very convenient. But one thing I should mention is that you will be billed annually. And all that means is that you're gonna be billed once a year for your hosting plan. And as you can see from my account information, let's pull it up really quickly. I purchased the 12 month starter plan with the domain privacy protection add-on. And my total cost is only $7.49 per month, which comes out to $89.88 per year. That is less than $100 to have your own functioning website. Now there are design companies and freelancers that charge anywhere from four to $10,000 to build a website. We are doing it for less than $100. That is unreal. Once you've entered all the required information, click the small box at the bottom of the screen, confirming that you've read and agree to the terms of service, and then click the green submit button. Next, you'll see some special offers available from Bluehost, but for this tutorial, we're just going to click no thanks. The next page is the account confirmation section, and one thing to note is that Bluehost conveniently emails you all of this information. And as you can see from my confirmation email, Bluehost provides all of the specifics of my hosting account within this email. So be sure to keep an eye out for that, and always keep this information in a safe and secure location. Now the next thing you'll want to do is create a password for your account. So go ahead and click the create your password button and you'll be taken to a page where you'll manage your password. Now you have a couple of different options when it comes to selecting your password. You can either create your own or you can have Bluehost generate a password for you. Now I recommend letting Bluehost generate your password so go ahead and click the generate password button and then click the eyeball icon to see the actual password. The reason for this is so that you can copy and paste the password and keep it in a safe and secure location like an Excel spreadsheet or a separate file. It's always a good idea just to have a backup. And once you have your password, go ahead and check the box confirming that you've read and agree to the terms of service and click the green continue button. and we have an error message. Now I'm glad this happened because I wanna show you a real scenario of what could happen while creating your account. Now we're receiving this error message because Bluehost is still processing our account, but do not worry about it. If you see this error message, just follow the same steps to regenerate your password and click the green continue button. And we're in. Congratulations, you are now looking at your Bluehost cPanel. I like to think of this as home base for your website. And as you can see, there are a lot of great resources and features that come with your cPanel. But for this tutorial, we're going to focus on installing WordPress. So in order to get started with WordPress, simply click on the website tab at the top of the screen. And on the next page, you'll see some of the other content management systems that are available. However, in my experience in the digital marketing space, I always recommend WordPress if you're implementing a blogging platform. So let's go ahead and click on the Install Now link. And it looks like Bluehost is still processing our cPanel account. Again, I'm glad this happened so that you can see a real-world example of what might come up while you're setting up your account. But just like before, if you see this message, don't freak out. Just give it a few seconds and click on the click here link to keep moving forward. The next page is the one-click WordPress installation feature, but before we install WordPress, I want to point something out. As you can see, you have a few options when it comes to installing WordPress. You can either do it yourself for free through this video, or you can pay them to do it for you. And I just want to reiterate that what you are learning from my free Blog with Ben blogging course, other companies are charging 
$400 for the exact same information. So hopefully by seeing this, you can appreciate the value that I'm trying to provide to future bloggers. All right, so now that my public service announcement is out of the way, in order to install WordPress, all you need to do is click the green install button. And then next, we're going to select the domain that we're going to install. So from the drop down menu, select the domain that you just created. Be sure to keep the directory field blank since this domain is our primary domain. And then click the green check domain button. Give it a couple seconds to load. All right, last step, we're almost there. Now, all we have to do is just check that second box stating that you've read the terms and conditions and then click the green install now button. Give it a few more seconds to load and we are on our way. Now go ahead and X out of this pop-up window and if you look at the top of your screen, you'll see that your WordPress install is currently underway. Now keep an eye on that green progression bar. As soon as that progression bar fills up, the top of your screen will change from blue to orange. And as soon as you see it change colors, you'll know that your install is complete. So we'll give it a few more seconds and voila, our install is complete. Now in order to access your WordPress login information, just click on the view credentials button. And sometimes you'll see this screen or you may see a drop down menu with your login credentials. Either way, click view to access your WordPress login information. Now, as you can see, your WordPress installation is complete and your login information is listed below. A few things to keep in mind, your URL is separate from your admin URL. The URL is what you'll use to tell people how to get to your site. The admin URL is what you'll use to log into your WordPress dashboard anytime you wanna make a change or update your site. Now, all this information will be emailed to you, but it's always a good idea to copy and paste it to a separate spreadsheet or file just to be safe. Now, let's click on the admin URL and sign in to our dashboard. So in order to log into our dashboard, we're just going to use the username and password that was just given to us. And click login. Congratulations, you now have one of the most powerful and robust blogging platforms available. What you're looking at right now is your WordPress dashboard. I like to think of this as being home base for your blog. Anytime you wanna make a change, update, or publish a blog post, you'll do so through the WordPress dashboard. We'll cover all that in the next video, but for now, you should be proud and excited that your blog is built on such a solid foundation. If you haven't done so already, be sure to grab your free copy of the Blog Starter Kit. Inside, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to build, grow, and monetize your blog, and I'll also show you how to set up your blog as a digital business. Click the link below this video to instantly download the free guide. With that being said, if you found this video helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Your support means a great deal to not only me, but my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, good luck with your blog, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.